All right, let's get started. But not the Pokedex. You already know I got these uh, Duraludon eggs. I have not tested how long it takes to hatch these, so let's find out now. Alright, I can already tell that these eggs are going to take longer to hatch. Welcome back! Thanks for joining. Oh yeah, these eggs are taking much longer to hatch. Pause. Yeah, this is gonna be a longer shiny hunt, which is I wh what? Which is why I really hope I can get it today. What? You know what I was uh, I was banking on? For me, the easiest thing to spot, the the difference to spot when trying to see if this thing is shiny or not, is the red tip. I can't see the red tip. I don't know about voice call right now since, you know, right here. But anyways, yeah, you, see, you see the red tip there? The red tip right here? If it's shiny, it's silver. There's no red tip. Well, I guess I just got to pay attention. You know, I, I've because I've said this before. I said this before. You... Not, not, not trying to accuse you or anyone, but like, you know. I'm afraid the moment I let somebody on here in terms of voice call, they'll say something that'll get me banned. You know what I mean? Like, I've had friends who want to do this before and I'm just like, nah, bruh, I don't trust y'all to be here. Just in case. You know, someone could swear on their life, like, I behave, I promise, and then the moment I let them on, they say something, and then I'm banned. I mean, it'd be fun, but, like, I don't want to risk it, you know? So, anyways, uh, it's... It's a bit of a shame that I'm doing this tonight, you know, since I promised I would last time. But, uh, so, so the reason it's a bit of a shame that I'm playing this tonight is because right now I could be <laughs> finishing a movie. Yesterday night I started watching Godzilla's, uh, Minus One. I don't know why I almost said Zero One. I, I started watching Godzilla Minus One last night. And I only managed to make it about 40 minutes into the movie. Because my Wi-Fi was acting up. I sat there from like 9.30 all the way to like 11 p.m. And I only made it to like 40 minutes. And then because the jerks that my family is. Well, they, they were like, oh, too bad. You can't watch it. Well, our turn. Now it's our turn to use the TV. Bye. Go away now. Okay, my controller acting up. So I only made it 40 minutes into the movie. Damn! Right when the movie was getting good, too. So it's a bit of a shame that I'm doing this right now, because otherwise I would be watching that right now. Before my jackasses of family members comes back and claims the TV. Hey! 
And by that time, it was, you know, too late for me to do this on here. So instead, what I did was I just made some guac, because we had avocados in the fridge. So anyways, from the 40 minutes of the movie I saw so far, it's pretty good. I was a little skeptical about this movie seeming like it's mostly in Japanese. But watching it, it's pretty good so far. The 40 minutes I was able to see, it felt like very classic Godzilla. It really did. It felt like I went back in time and I was watching the original Godzilla films when they first came out. It felt like very classic Godzilla. You know, it's not like the, uh, the, the, the blockbuster CGI messes that are being put out these days. Not all of them are, but you know what I mean. It's like, it's not very Americanized Godzilla. It feels like return to form Japanese Godzilla. Probably because the film is in Japanese. I'm not sure who made this film, if it was an American company, American studio or a Japanese studio. I don't know who made this. It's it, it's pretty good from the 40 minutes I've seen. And the CGI actually looks spectacular. Especially the day scene. The scene I got cut off was when the guys were on the boat, out in the ocean, and they were dropping mines to try to attack Godzilla. Like the first scene where that happens. Yeah, the CGI there looked really good, especially for a daytime scene. I mean, they have the advantage of showing primarily Godzilla's head and back, not its entire body. But still, that, that CGI looked really good. So I'm excited to see the rest of the film. I'll probably, sadly, have to watch it tomorrow night. And who does that? Who watches 40 minutes of a film one night and then two nights later watches the rest? You know, I would love to watch the rest of the film after I'm done this. Once I'm done this, kick back, relax, enjoy the rest of this seemingly really good film so far, but nope. My family are jerks, and they don't let me. They don't let me use a TV at night. <sighs> and you know, you know what else is a shame? Tomorrow was supposed to be my day off from work but it seems like I may have to go in for like half a day so tomorrow is supposed to be my mom and sister working because we work as a family for uh, those who don't know so tomorrow I was supposed to have a day off because my mom and sister were gonna be working but uh, suddenly my sister has to go to a doctor's appointment at like noon so you know, I have to fill in in the morning until she gets back Uh It is what it is, but, uh, you know, damn. Would have loved to sleep in. Would have loved to maybe, you know, watch the rest of the film during the day. I mean, I still can, but that's gonna be a lot harder now. Because, you know, on my day off, that's, uh, that's the perfect chance for me to record more Mario Galaxy 2. And if I'm doing that, well, I can't be watching a movie as I'm doing that. And vice versa. You've gotten every single Pokemon now other than four legendaries, so I'm gonna collect the stakes right now and get them. <coughs> Shiny Charm incoming. For a second, I thought you meant Shiny Charmander. Like, that's the first thing you were gonna hunt. But nice. Nice. Oh, 
Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, I have eight boxes worth of these eggs again. I don't even know if I'm going to get through all of them tonight, given how much longer these are taking to hatch. Do you have DLC for one of the games? Sword and Shield or Scarlet and Violet, or do you not have any of the DLCs in general? have any of the DLCs? Damn. Yep, grinding for the DLC, and that's exactly what you'll be doing in the DLC too, is grinding. Because that's what I've been doing these past couple days. Non-stop grinding. There is so much grinding for me to do, and there's still so much more. Seven legendaries, and all the previous generation starters. Wait, what was the question? Well, I gotta say, if you're, uh, if you're a shiny hunter looking for content, then I gotta say, the Sword and Shield, uh, the Sword and Shield DLC is really bang for your buck. Given how much how much you can shiny hunt in Dynamax Adventures, along with the other legendaries like the Reggies and Swords of Justice. So if you're a shiny hunter and you're looking for content, then I gotta recommend the Sword and Shield DLC. Oh yeah, crazy how many starters and legendaries there are. Insert Mewtwo meme, back in my day, being legendary meant something. You don't play Sword and Shield too much? Well, you buy the DLC and you will, if you want a shiny hunt. Look at me, I'm still playing this game. Man, I also gotta get ready for Go Fest in Pokemon Go this weekend. I gotta, you know, hand Niantic more of my money in order to get Poke Coins, in order to upgrade my storage for both Pokemon and items. Probably pre buy some more uh, remote raid passes, and probably also a couple of premium raid passes too. Free to play is, you know, good as well. But for me, nah, the temptation is 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 just too strong. Man, something I still gotta do and I haven't done yet because I really don't wanna do it. But I sadly I will. There's the twenty dollars paid ticket for Marsh Shadow. Ugh. I don't want to. But I will. You know, just like everything else in Pokemon Go, you just wait. If you're simply patient, you wait like a year or two. Then the Mythical will come back. But I don't want to do that. I don't want to wait. Shiny Celebi just came back after like three years. Yeah, I'm not waiting that. I don't think Shiny Mew ever came back. Diancy just came back. I, after I don't know how long. 
Yeah, I'm not waiting that long. I'll, I'll just give them the 20 bones. I'm not happy about it. But I'm gonna still do it. Because let me tell you, FOMO is real. So I'm very close to finishing the grind in my Scarlet game. That equals content here. It's not interesting content, but it's nonetheless content. Why I am nowhere done the grind needed in my Violet game. See, I primar I prioritized. I prioritized grinding in Scarlet. So could I so I can actually make the content here for you guys. Versus Violet, where I play that game on my own. You know, if I was still on Applin, we would have been done with the first box by now. We would have maybe been halfway into the second box. Super slow. I already I also already have flame body with me too, making it faster. You know when I was younger I thought flame body and magma armor stacked, making it twice as fast or, or even faster to hatch eggs? No it doesn't. I was only I was only wasting one egg space. One space in my party which could have been an additional egg hatching. Put two Colossos in your party, hoping it's stacked. Uh, let me think. What else am I gonna do? Like, I got a lot of moving parts. I say that as if it's, uh, it, it sounds more, uh, it sounds bigger than it actually is. I got a lot of stuff in the background I'm working on. No, I don't. Let's face it. No, I don't. But in my mind, I do. Well, I got stuff planned I want to do. And one by one, one at a time, I'm working on it. Like during the day today when I wasn't uh, wasn't grinding in my Scarlet game, 
I was in my Ultra Moon game in the Ultra Wormhole looking for Yuxi for another video I have in mind. And once again, I swear, games somehow know what it is you're looking for and never give it to you. Because I was trying to look for Yuxi, I mostly found Mesprit and Azelf. Not one Yuxi all day today. You know, it's like when I'm playing GTA, I'm trying to look for a specific car, and it never spawns. But yet, when I'm not looking for it, it's everywhere. I was looking for a fracture the whole day, but I saw them all around the whole entire map when I wasn't looking for it. Do I even have a shiny fracture? I think I do somewhere. I can't remember if I ever got one from Dynamax Adventures. It has a pretty sweet shiny with the blue. Need a shiny hacks risk and a Masuda one? Nice. Which game are you gonna Masuda it in? What? Scarlet and Violet, because I don't want to transfer the Ditto to home and then to sword again. Too much work. It's not that much work. But up to you. Whatever you want. It would be really nice, like, I mean, really nice if I were able to get the shiny today. Because I got plans coming up. Sadly, because the Scarlet and Violet schedule was announced. And there is one thing in that schedule in particular that really piques my interest. That being the Alolan Raichu. I'm definitely going to shiny hunt that here. But the thing is, I really wanted to get both Hydrapple and Arcaludon, this one, back to back. You guys pronounce it Arc? Arcaludon or Arch? Like an archway, Archaludon. I have no idea how it's pronounced. It could be either one since that thing is based off a bridge. Looks like a staple removal or two. Arcaludon. It could be either one. Is it another... Well, it, I was about to say, is it another Rayquaza Rayquaza, but that's not true. Rayquaza was never correct. Or what, what about Regice and Regice? I say Regice. Anime pronounced it both ways, so technically both are correct. Reggie Ice for sure. Reggie Ice sounds cursed. Yeah, it just doesn't sound right. 
Everything else was Reggie something, and then you just have this one that's Reg Ice. So I say Reggie Ice. But you're not wrong if you say Reg Ice, since technically the anime said it too, as stupid as it is. I mean, hell, I'm pretty sure the anime pronounced it both Necrozma and Necrozma. I said Necrozma. I said Necrozma for a while, thinking that was a correct pronunciation. Then I learned, or at least I'm pretty sure they said it both ways. I was like, nope, I'm gonna go back to Necrozma. Necrozma. You know, something I still have to do is figure out how to ahem, stream on my phone. I still gotta figure out how to do that at some point, and soon too. I wonder if it's really just as easy as opening the app and just hitting start. I don't know, I never tried it before. Because, you know, how else am I going to stream some 3DS hunts? Because I ain't got no capture card for it. You know, my friend No Shaman Feeding, he sent me a link a little while ago. For it was some sort of service that was up again. He sent me a link for a service where you send in your 3DS and they'll install a capture card for you. But I'm just like, nah, no, nah, I'm not risking that. Bro, I I'm sorry, I'm not risking sending my 3DS away. And for it to be like damaged or lost or stolen at some point, uh, nah. I'm not risking that. You can't exactly buy a new 3DS anymore these days. I've lost a 3DS already in the past. I don't need to lose another one. Isn't that a bit sketchy? Yep. But, uh, you know. The price you pay if you want to uh, have a capture card in your system. Hmm. 
I don't really have anything to talk about. So, uh, let me see. What's been going on in my life lately? Uh, not much. Uh... Aside from shiny hunting, not really much else for me to look forward to these days. Most exciting thing coming up is Deadpool and Wolverine. Aside from that, the only thing, the only real big event coming up in my life is my sister's wedding in a month. In fact, a month from tomorrow. Almost exactly a month. I also got three, uh, three birthdays celebrate what three birthdays to celebrate coming up this month both my dog's birthdays are this are uh, is this month matter of fact their birthdays are two days apart So on the 15th, it'd be my younger dog's birthday, and then the 17th is my older dog's. And then the 21st is my dad's. So I didn't remember until it was literally too late that a friend of mine, a friend of mine, his birthday was also this month. His birthday's on the 3rd, but uh, I kind of forgot since uh, uh, I never really remember specific days anymore. I remember my friend's birth month, but it's like I always gotta ask, what was the day again? I got two friends whose birthdays are in December, and I cannot for the life of me remember which days in December. And also because around my friend's birthday time on the 3rd of June my mind is uh, you know on an, on something else specifically on the 2nd so actually because my friend's birthday was on the 3rd and uh, we all collectively missed it all our friends <laughs> our entire friend group collectively missed it because he was also on a trip during that, too. So we were, uh... Oh, why the second? Because that's the day... That's the day my uh, first dog passed away. Four years ago. He passed away July 2nd, 2020. It's crazy, it's already been four years. Oop! Oop, disconnected. Yep, it's been a while. It happens sometimes. Alright, let me restart. That didn't work. Let's try that again. Oh, that didn't work. I hit start and it instantly failed. Try again. <laughs> uh. 
Am I back yet? Am I live again? Okay, now I see it. Now I'm back. Yes, we're back. Anyways, so as I was saying, my friend was on a trip during his birthday and also because of the fact my entire friend group collectively missed his birthday. So we all decided afterwards like, yo, we should get him something for the next time we see him. So we were throwing around ideas out there on what we could get him. One of my friends suggested buy something Gundam related. I didn't even know he was into Gundam. And then I'm like, does he by chance have the, like, Japan, McDonald's, and Gundam collab figure? So I asked them, they're like, no, you think we can eBay it in time for him? I'm just like, bro, I could just buy it over there. I seen it on sale over there for like 30 bucks. And because, not gonna lie, I kind of wanted one too. So I bought two of them. And just like that, $67 gone. You know, I'm not a big Gundam fan. I think they look cool. I don't know a single thing about them. My cousin really into them. My uncle, from what I hear, likes it too. That's the same uncle who's, uh, you know, coming over here to attend my sister's wedding. I think it's a Japan McDonald's Gundam collab. I've also heard that it might be China. I don't know, I looked it up. I saw China had something that looked different. A different McDonald's Gundam collab. So I don't know. All I know is it's foreign. I actually texted my, uh, my cousin too. I'm like, hey, aren't you into Gundam? Do you have the Japan slash China? Gundam McDonald's collab figure. Yo, you want me to get you one so that when uncle comes to uh, visit my sister's wedding, he can bring it back for you? He's like, no, I'm fine, thanks. <laughs> and then he said he still has a bunch of Gundams that he hasn't built yet. I'm just like, oh, me too. I got stuff I haven't built yet either. He's like, also Gundam? I'm like, nah. Pokemon. I mentioned Lego too. Not like I have anything Lego to build at the moment. I mean that Zelda Deku Tree set. Yeah, I want it. But goddamn, three hundred dollars. Oof. See, the thing is, like, if if someone out there wanted the two-in-one set separately. You want the Breath of the Wild Deku Tree separate from the Ocarina of Time one? You would have to buy two of the mugs. That's $600 right there for, you know, building blocks, plastic building blocks. Which you have to assemble yourself. But then again, that's the fun of Legos, right? It's building it. You build yourself the Lego Death Star and it's like, well great, now it's just for display only. Unless I ever want to take it apart and do it again, but why would I ever do that? Man, I'm not creative enough to build my own creations from Legos. I have I have no creativity. Man, I don't need I don't need a uh, I don't need the scene 
of Electro asking Peter Parker, Can I ask you something? Yeah. Are these your Legos? I don't need that happening to me. I don't need someone to come over and be like, Let me ask you something. Are these your Legos? He's like, yeah, I'm a grown-ass man, and I got Legos. What of it? I actually have very little Legos, actually. I tried to start a collection once, but that quickly, quickly fell off. Not even a collection of builds, either. Just a collection of loose pieces. I quickly learned, like, why am I doing this? I could have enough pieces to build a life-size house, and a collection still would never be complete. We don't have Legos in my country, so for so for the little time we were in Australia, we got we got as much Legos as possible, which was still not a lot. Which you don't mind me asking, which country are you from? You said previously that it was like it's morning time for you. It's night time over here for me. I imagine you know you somewhere in the east. Oh, Bangladesh. Eight twelve for you in the morning. It's ten twelve p.m. for me. Ah, the beauty of the internet, right? Internet and communities. Look at this. Shiny hunting community brought two people with common interests together. You know what I find absolutely mind-blowing, though? Like, for example, when my family would go on a trip. Specifically. Well, uh, actually. I can't believe this has been, like, eight months now. Eight, nine months now. When my sister... When my mom and sister went back to Hong Kong, when the two of them did that, or rather just like my friend who I mentioned whose birthday we just missed, when he went back to China, when he went back to China for a whole month, it blows my mind that not that long ago, you know, maybe like a century ago, maybe a little bit more, not that long ago, if you had a family member that went across the world, you would have no idea how they are. There's no way to communicate with them. You know, I say a century ago is not that long ago, but, you know, you have to think, like, in the grand scheme of things. You know, a century ago, there was no internet. We barely had functioning phone calls. So, you know, if, if you're... If you, have, if you had a loved one go across the planet, you would have no way to check up on them. You'd have no way to call or text like, yo, you okay? You good? Like the whole day, you fine? How is it, how is it over there? How are things? Like, there's no way to do that. Like a century ago, you would have no idea how your loved one is until they get back. It's actually kind of, you know, like weird to think about the internet and how it works. It's also crazy to think that the internet is still rather young. Can you guys believe that? I don't think it's even been 50 years since we had the internet. I think. I don't know when the internet started. The 70s, I think. Well, that might be 50 or around 50. Anyways, like, once again, in the grand scheme of things, you know, the planet's been here for millions of years, and only like a, a measly handful of decades is when we had the internet.
You know, this is very much easier said than done. Sometimes I wonder you know, if we have like satellites and internet to connect the entire world, how hard is it to establish internet co connections in some pretty remote locations? Like a deserted island in the middle of the ocean. How hard is it to do that? By some chance, someone washes up there and actually has a phone to call for help that isn't destroyed by the ocean water? How hard is it to set up, like, a cell service there? I know that's easier said than done. You know, I doubt the government is really going to prioritize mapping out the entire ocean to find every single remote island there is and then set out to establish internet services on those islands. I doubt that's a priority. But no one wants to really pay that much money to set up cell service in a remote place like that. Maybe one day... One day in the future, more than likely when I am long gone, that'll happen. And then by that time, the future generations will look at a show like Castaway or Lost and be like, ha, huh, huh, that was a thing back then? Look at us now, we, we get washed up on a remote island, we could just teleport back. Look at those cavemen back in the day. Getting washed up and actually have to survive. We have teleporters set up on the remote, the most remote islands imaginable. What were we talking about? <laughs> to people in the future. <laughs> I wonder if the people in the future are gonna look back to this day and age and just be embarrassed. Like, oh my god. Uh, the people online were so stupid back then. Look at the way they behaved. Not gonna name anything specific, because we all know the internet. I'm pretty sure the shiny, because I can't see the tip, pause, the shiny has more vibrant blue. Like It's like a shinier, brighter silver and a brighter blue. So that's what to look out for. Not this sort of dull, navy blue. Are you excited for... Oh my god. I... 
Ugh. I keep disconnecting. Let me try again. Man, I don't trust the setup at all. You know, I did send the uh, uh for God's sake. Okay, I'm just gonna just gonna redo the whole thing. I'm trying to be so careful with this setup. So last time I talked about getting a PC and how my friends sent me a supposedly better pre-built PC than than uh, you know the guy I was talking to who will custom build it for me. As suggested before, I sent the pre-built to him to ask for a second opinion and I have not gotten a response back I don't think he I, I, I would not blame him for disliking that because you know it's business like I said before it's like I use the example last time I have someone come in be like alright let me walk around and think about it and then they come back like, yo, I found a better deal for something even better at a different store. What do you think? It's like, what are you doing here then? Why are you bothering me? Why aren't you, why aren't you there buying it? What are you doing here for? Well, Fayaz for eyes just uh, texted me on Discord saying that, uh, you know, gonna go make some breakfast. Well, thanks for joining. I'm just gonna keep at this.
You know, I totally zoned out there. I wasn't even guess. I wasn't even counting how many eggs I hatched there. I kind of just guessed. Guess I guessed at the right moment that I hatched five. Well, I'm trying my best to think about something to talk about. Ah, uh, I don't really have anything. So for the time being, it might just be silence, because I have nothing to say. Sorry. You, you even hear the tire screech there. You guys hear that?
You know, I actually forgot my Switch charger when I went to work today. So instead, what I used was my mom's Android phone charger, because it works too. Sure, it didn't charge as fast, but it worked. As long as it worked. Depending on the brightness, it would merely just drain power slower. Like, you would just use a power slower. Three boxes in about an hour. So to do eight, that's like almost two and a half, maybe. More, more like two and two quarters. Two quarters. Two and two thirds. So maybe around two hours, forty minutes, I'll be able to hatch all these eggs. If I don't slow down, because, you know, we did get slowed a little bit with the crashes. You know what I still ain't get yet? I still ain't gotten my certification in the mail from the exam I passed after failing college three times. I still ain't got that yet. You know, my friend showed us that certain schools offer picture frames for sale to frame up your diploma, your certification, your whatever. And them shits is expensive. Go from like 80 bucks to like 120 bucks and more. You got me fucked up if you think I'm gonna spend that much for a goddamn picture frame. I can get for like, you know, a couple bucks at the dollar store. Or hell, maybe like 10, 20 bucks at Walmart? Got me fucked up if you think I'm spending around a hundred or more to hand, to hand you a picture frame. What? To hand you for a picture frame. Did you guys know that the Eldegoss that flies by this bridge the one time in the game only happens the one time in the game? 
I wonder if it's shiny locked. It'd be crazy if someone hunted for it. Assuming it isn't shiny locked, Game Freak do be shiny hunting the randomest of Pokemons, like the Corvusquire that appears on the top of your house. Don't you miss when back in the day there was no shiny lock so you can shiny hunt anything you wanted? No matter how much time it wasted? You know what I wish I had right now? Earbuds or AirPods, so I can listen to something as I'm doing this here. <clears throat> About nine months ago, when my mom and sister went to Hong Kong, my sister borrowed my earbuds so that she can use them on the plane, and she never gave them back. And I don't have AirPods, because frankly, I don't trust myself with them. Something that expensive and small, I just know I'm going to lose them, so I don't trust myself with it. You know, last week when, uh, you know, that friend I keep talking about who went on a trip and we missed his birthday, you know, now that he's back, we hung out, because he's back, so we hung out. So after dinner, he rode with me in my car back to my place so that all of us guys <coughs> can uh, chill watch a movie you know the night we watched uh, ready or not so this exact same topic came up and he's like bro how do you live without airpods how do you live without any of that stuff cuz like you know you're on the subway or you're on the bus you want to watch something but you don't want to blast it out loud and you also don't want to sit there for like who knows how long in silence and boredom I just don't really have many cases where I would need, you know, need AirPods or earbuds out in public. I'm clearly not in public doing this right now.
I'm actually going to save the game real quick, just in case. Burp, yep. What's up, man? You don't often tune in. What, no game sesh with the boys tonight? Unless that's a wave goodbye, like he just tuned in to say hi and then dips, like a certain other person I know. Doing some schoolwork. Yes, I know that's a wave, but it could have been a wave goodbye as well. Do you have a lot of schoolwork you gotta get done? You know, I still get nightmares about that. Man, I haven't had class and school assignments in a very long time. What I did have was an exam to worry about, so I didn't have class to worry about. But what I kept on having is the same nightmare where I had an entire semester to do an assignment, and I didn't do it.
And then every time I wake up, I have to remind myself, oh yeah, I graduated. <laughs> there, there is no assignment. There, that isn't anything telling me, yo, you probably should get started on working on it. No, I have to constantly wake up and tell myself, I graduated. There is no assignment for me to worry about. So am I just your background noise, your background study noise, that you occasionally have to turn over and respond to? What am I doing? Shiny hunting. Doing the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result. I, I suppose you actually truly don't know. I have a bunch of eggs to hatch, pause, where, you know, hopefully one of them hatches into a shiny. You hatch eggs by moving. I have a 1 in 512 chance for each one to be shiny. Fun, I know, right? Shiny hunting is super fun, that's why I do it all the time. Because you know, the dopamine you get when you finally get those different color pixels. Why do I sense sarcasm behind that right? It's like, yeah, fun, right. Man, I had a rough morning this morning. You ever get those mornings where you're super sluggish, you don't want to get out of bed? Like, you just be like, oh, five more minutes, but you know you, you just know you'll easily fall back asleep, so you have to force yourself out of bed. It's like, oh, I don't want to get up, but I need to. I have to. I really don't want to. But I need to. You know, if I stay in bed for five more minutes, I'll, I know I'll fall back asleep, and then I'll be late. Well, that was me this morning. My brain was half awake on the process of falling back asleep. But I was just thinking to myself, oh, I want to sleep more, but I need to get up. 
I know I need to, no matter how much I don't want to. Man, that's such bullshit I gotta go in tomorrow. Ugh. Well, at least it's for like not even half the day. Going where? Going to work. Tomorrow's supposed to be my day off, but I got to I got to go in tomorrow morning because my sister has a doctor's appointment. So I gotta fill in until she gets back. On the day I'm supposed to, you know, sleep in. Relax. Game. Finish the half movie I still have. Why not just switch? So you're saying I should take her doctor's appointment for her? Like go in the whole day tomorrow, then not go in on a Friday. Well, I don't know. I don't. I don't determine my own schedule. I don't know. <laughs> you know that's not what I mean. No, no, I genuinely did not. No, I genuinely did not, sir. My stream frozen. Audio only, huh? Try refreshing the page. Let me see. Seems fine on my end. I mean, it's nothing stellar to watch anyways. So you're not really missing much gameplay. Let's be honest, is it really that much of a loss if it's just audio only? You know what also sucks too? That tomorrow, probably on my way home, my family's gonna make me go and buy some fried chicken. Now, to elaborate on that, only a particular supermarket has this, uh, has this product for sale. It's an entire small, an entire small fried chicken. Like a Costco rotisserie chicken size. And it, the entire bird is deep fried. For only $12. Shit. That's a much better deal than KFC if you ask me. So like only a particular chain of supermarket has that. And my fat ass been craving fried chicken lately. So uh, for the past two days... Yesterday, my mom and sister took the day off to get a freaking massage, of all things. You know, they were right next to the supermarket, so I asked, like, you want to stop by? See if they have it in stock? Because, you know, an entire fried chicken for $12, that's a pretty good deal. You bet that thing flies off the shelves. So I asked, like, you're literally right next to one. You want to you wanna help me go double check if there's any and they said no and then earlier today my sister went to a walk-in clinic uh, which is also next to next to one and so my mom was asking her do you want to go check it out for your brother 
Do you want to check for your brother in case they have it? She's like, hell no. She's like, hell no. Toilet soy. So she did not. So for two days, these two have had the day off. They were right next to the grocery store. And they refused to help me check it. They kept on telling me, your day off is coming is coming up soon. You have a car of your own, go go look for yourself. I was just I was just telling them like man at this point I may as well just you know while I'm at work go upstairs buy a nice big piece of fried chicken all for myself and I ain't sharing none for y'all. You guys don't help me out. Why the hell should I share my fried chicken with y'all? You know, because we do that. Every time we buy an extra large piece of fried chicken that's different from the one I was talking about, we always share because, you know, family sharing is caring. But in this case, it's like, why the hell should I share with you guys? You guys weren't willing to help me. It's like, no. You tell me to get my own? I got my own. You guys want yours? Go get your own. Just my piece of fried chicken right here. You know, my, my family's entire mentality shifted the moment I passed my exam. And not only that, when you also factor in the fact that, you know, I also got my driver's license. Or rather, I passed. I haven't received it in the mail yet. Their entire mentality shifted. They're just like, okay, you can do everything on your own now. We ain't gotta help you with shit. Whoa, we're right next to the grocery store? Nah. Nah, when you have time, you go do it your damn self. I'm not gonna help you out, even though I'm literally right next to it. You know what also pisses me off about my sister, too? She could be listening to this, I don't care. My sister, like, genuinely gets mad at me if I ask for something during work, if I ask for help or I ask for clarification. She's always like, brother, shouldn't you know this by now? And I'm just like, is it a crime to ask for clarification? Is it, a, is it bad? Is it not allowed to ask for help? Cause you know, you wanna know what I did in high school? And my sister did the exact same thing. We both did the co-op course. So co-op, you actually go out to a real life business place and you co-op there. Like you basically volunteer there. So you get some real life, ex uh, real life work experience during high school. You don't get paid of course, cause you know, you're a student. You wouldn't even be classified as an intern. But yeah, like, the two of us did that separately. She, you know, attended high school long before I did. By the time I was in high school, she had already graduated. What they taught you during the co-op preparation, because there was like two weeks of actual, like, class, where they teach you, like, like, uh, you know, workplace safety, what to do versus what not to do, workplace etiquette, all that. Like, two weeks worth of teaching you that stuff before you actually go out and uh, have some real-life workforce experience. You know, they taught you, like, oops, they taught you it's always okay to ask questions. It's never a bad thing to ask questions. When you're not sure, always ask. Because you don't want to do something wrong. You don't want to, like, you know. So, like, do not, do not worry. Do not uh, have the worry, like, oh, I don't want to bother the boss. I don't want to annoy the boss by asking the same question a hundred times. It's like, 
If I'm not sure, I'll ask. You know, like, just always ask. Always ask to clarify. See, my sister learned that thing too, but, uh, you know, I guess because I'm not just any worker to her, I'm her goddamn brother, it's like that doesn't apply. So whenever I ask to clarify, whenever I ask for like, hey, can you help me do this real quick? It's like, brother, shouldn't you know this by now? And I always got to be like, sister, is it a crime to ask for help? Is it a bad thing to ask for clarification? Just answer the damn question. You know, I got to be like that sometimes. It's like, sister, does this, is this right? It's like, brother, shouldn't you know? Yes or no, answer the question. You call your supervisor like three or four times a day to ask questions. You know, in the time that my sister tells me, brother, you've done this so much, you should know this by now. You don't have to ask me. You should know this by now. You could have just said yes or no. Is this correct? Yes or no? And she's never been mad. <laughs> but it is, you know, the, the tough love kind of thing. Where it's like, you know, if I don't learn this, if I always have to ask for... Uh, ask for clarification, ask for like confirmation it is okay. And I never is like, okay, I did this myself, and it's good. It's good. There's no problems. Then, you know, how, how will I ever inherit the business or whatever? <clears throat> what will happen if, uh, you know, she's she's gone, you know? Because uh, literally she's getting married in a month. Before I know it, she'll have kids, maternity leave, whatever. She won't be at the business for, uh, you know, a substantial amount of time when that stuff happens. When that happens, I won't have her to ask to double check if it's okay or not. I gotta rely on myself. You know what I cannot wait to see though? I absolutely cannot wait to see when my sister has a kid and just see how she deals with it. Because, uh, low-key, my sister can barely take care of herself, let alone a child. So I'm very curious to, to, to just watch the dumpster fire to play out before me. You know, my sister jokes around all the time. Like, whenever, whenever you know, she uh, needs to go out, just toss the kid over my way, or let mom and dad, aka the grandparents, watch, and then she just goes. <laughs> Hilariously, my mom's somewhat like, nah, nah, that's your kid. My job raising you is done. Now it's your job to raise your kid. Don't, 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 don't leave the grandkid with me all day just so you can do some other stuff. That's your kid now. You raise that child. And then my dad, on the other hand, he'd welcome it. Oh, I can already picture it. My dad, whenever he has his first grandchild, he's going to be glowing so much, it's going to be blinding. My dad is going to be beaming with joy and happiness the moment he has a grandkid. You know, my, my, parents, my parents say that to me all the time, too. They're like, son, when are you going to give us a grandchild? I'm just like... Ask your daughter first. She's the one about to get married. Realistically, you should be asking her. She's the one who's sooner going to give you a grandchild than me. It's not that they don't care if my sister gives them a grandchild. It's like they care more than I do. Ah, uh, you know that stupid thing about uh, the son has a kid to carry on the last name. <laughs> Keep your gremlins to yourself. Honestly, valid. 
To my surprise, even my mom. Even my mom cares about that. Not to the extent of my dad. It's like, why does my mom care? <laughs> I'm carrying my dad's. Not carrying, but, uh, I'm continuing my dad's last name, not my mom, so, like, why does my mom care if I have a kid so soon? You know, worry about your older child having a kid first, not me. The way I see it, my sister kind of paves the way in terms of expectations for me. Not when it comes to school, hell no. I don't see my sister fail to college three times. What I mean by that is, like, if my sister doesn't have a kid by the age of 30, probably don't expect me to have a kid until I'm 30. But this is all a couple years away. Those couple years are going to creep up fast. I mean, think about my parents' perspective. In the blink of an eye. What? Yeah, think of my parents' perspective. In the blink of an eye, their daughter's getting married. My physical and mental health is not something I want to pass on. No children from me. See, I agree with the, uh, the first statement. The same applies to me, but, like, I do want children one day. One day. Very far in the future, but, like, uh, yikes. If my kid does half the stupid shit I did when I was growing up, oh boy. I fear, I fear for my child. Kids in this economy, crazy. Inflation, am I right? Thank you, Biden. Well, worry about one thing at a time. First, get past my sister's wedding. And then we worry about the children. It's like... All right, daughter, you are married now. When's the grandkid? Fine with being around kids, just don't want your of your own. I'm actually, I, I feel like I'm kind of the opposite. If I'm around kids, I'm like, I don't know what to do. What do I do to entertain them? iPad? Hell no. That's the... That's the lazy way out. Ah yes, let the children have brain rot at a young age. Our species is evolving in the correct direction. You know, one day, one day I would like to, you know, raise the kids old-fashioned, no iPad to let them drool over the entire day, but it's like, well, that's gonna be ten times harder. It's gonna be a hundred times harder. You know how hard it is to raise kids? I can only imagine. You know, instead of like, alright, here's the iPad, watch Baby Shark, Daddy's gonna nap for like, an hour. Entertain the kids of a friend I grew up with as practically and honorably- what? Wait, no. With as practically an honorary part of the family with the banjo one day.
Man, I await the day one of my friends tells me, Yo, man, we're gonna have a kid. We're gonna have a baby. It's like, hey, congratulations, buddy. I've known you for so many years now, and now I get to watch you go through fatherhood. Yo, man, I couldn't be happier for you. Like, congratulations to you both. Well, at the moment, I only have two friends who could possibly tell me that, and, uh... Well, if... I'll be honest, if they told me that right now, I'd be shocked more than anything. Like, bro, are you serious? Like, you don't think it's kind of early right now? Like, well... Who am I to tell you how to live your life? Uh, you know, I still gotta decide how the... 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 the uh... Sleeping arrangements are gonna go. Either my uncle shares a room with me, or my dad does. And my uncle takes my dad's room. Wouldn't be the first time he took over my room when he came and visited. Oh, you know what happened last night when the goddamn movie just would not play? I saw an enormous house centipede walk by. Ugh. Luckily, though, I was able to capture it into my trusty bug jar to release it outside. Man, the big ones, and I mean like the extra big ones, hell no, those things are going nice and far away from my house before I release it. So what did I do? I took it with I took it with me to work this morning. And then I went outside and I just, you know, dumped it next to a tree. And I watched that centipede climb up the tree. And I just walked away. I'm like, well. You're free. I'm out. You are out in the wild. You are not my problem anymore. You are nice and far away from my home. Goodbye. Best of luck to you. Man, all these videos online saying you should not kill house centipedes. You should not even be scared of them. Are you insane? You see what they look like? Ain't no way I'm letting that thing just stay in my house. Even if it does get rid of the spiders. You insane if you think I'm gonna just let one walk right past me and not deal with it. And you insane if I'm brave enough to grab tissue paper and smush it. The fact that I get close enough to capture it into a jar is already good enough. Is already very spectacular. Why? Why? Why are health centipedes a thing? Why, nature? Why, evolution? Hell, we even had the house fumigated before to try to get rid of them. And they're still around. Can you blame me? Can you blame me? Haven't you seen one before? Especially the really big ones, too. Ugh, I, I, I'm getting chills just thinking about it.
Well, I don't like to krill them. Because I ain't brave enough to. And frankly, even if I was brave enough to get close enough to krill them, to kill them, yeah, I, I don't want to do that. You know, they're innocent creatures that did nothing wrong. It's not their fault they're so terrifying to look at. Whoops. So I try to capture them and I release them outside. Whether or not they survive outside, that's not my problem. You know, I, I was sent a video, I, I forget by who, by which one of my friends. I was sent a video that, you know, that says, like, if you think you're doing a good service by releasing the spiders you find in your house back outside, you're not. Because those spiders are, I technically, domesticated. They're, they only know to survive indoors. So if you, if you capture them, and if you put them outside, they will actually die a slower, worse death, rather than, you know, just killing them on the spot. I missed the part where that's my problem. Oh yeah, I'm still gonna release them outside, I don't care. <laughs> I bring them outside, whether they survive or not, that's not my problem. I missed the part where that's my problem. That same video, too, said, like, And spiders are good for your house, because they deal with other pests. So what you should do is you should bring them to a different part of your house, where you don't mind them being at. I'm like, are you crazy? You got me fucked up if you think I'm doing that. Relocating a house spider to somewhere else in my house, I don't mind it being at. Are you freaking crazy? Darwinism at its finest. You know, there was a spider I dealt with, like, maybe last week. It was right on my backyard door, but it was on the inside. So I grabbed my jar to try to catch it. What happened was, it had this small green insect in its grasp you know just consuming it so I tried to get both of them together so uh, because that stupid thing just would not get off of the door and land into the jar the other bug actually came loose from its grip and it was still moving I'm like oh my god that thing's still alive the other insect was still alive and so I just like took them both outside You know, and I, I, I just flicked them both out of the jar onto the grass, and I said, Bye now. You're not my problem anymore. The really big ones I find, the big spiders and the big centipedes, I gotta release those far away from the house. Like, take today. That enormous house centipede I found last night, I released it all the way at work. I ain't letting that thing have any chance of finding its way back to my house. The smaller ones, I can release in the backyard. I kind of don't want to though, just in case, because, you know, my dogs run around in the backyard. So sometimes I uh, low-key just release it into the neighbor's lawn. I mean, like, what the hell are they going to do about it? It's a damn centipede. I'm not telling my dog to to poop in their lawn. Then again, I would not like it if my neighbors dumped house centipedes into my front lawn either. But, oh well. Too bad for them. But like the extremely big ones, I, I gotta bring them nice and far. 
I've brought some enormous ones to like the nearby park before I release it. Man, remember the story? One night when my friends were over and we was just chilling, the biggest, and I mean the biggest, house spider I have ever seen in my entire life would give Australia a run for its money. God damn, that was the biggest house spider I've ever seen. See, my drunk friend, he wanted to just like completely smush it with a slipper. I'm just like, no, don't do that, please. Please, I don't want to, you know, wipe up a, a, a smeared spider off my floor. And, you know, same thing. It's an innocent creature that did nothing. So, like, it doesn't deserve to die like that, so just release it outside. This one was so big, pause, that I was terrified to get close enough to put it into a jar, so I asked my absolutely enormous friend to help me out. I asked him too when I saw him the other night after he came back from a month-long trip to China. I'm like, bruh, did you gain height when you were over there? Like, goddamn, I swear you grew taller. Well, he certainly didn't gain any weight. He didn't get any thicker. Much to my disappointment, because he's a little too thin. Oh, you want to know what else? Want to hear another funny story? So, a friend of mine, who also I hung out with the other night, he told me that he has a bet with another friend of ours who didn't appear that night. They have a bet together on... Which one of our, of, wait, which one of our friends would be the next to find a girlfriend? And he said that if it was me, if I was the one to get a girlfriend next, then he would get a hundred bucks. <laughs> That's how little faith he has in me. It's like, if it was me, if I am the one to get a girlfriend, matter of fact, by the end of the year too. Like, that's the time limit. By the end of the year, if I am the one to get a girlfriend, he wins a hundred bucks. And he even said, please, bro, please, like, I'll split the 50 with you. I'll split it 50 ways with you. Well, I'm sorry, I'm, he, I'm not gonna help my friend win a hundred bucks. Of which he will split 50 to me. It's not that I don't want to, it's more like... I probably just flat out won't. I mean, hell. I meet someone new and I get 50 bucks? What's there, what's there to lose, right? It's like, uh, as much as I would like that to happen, it's like, ugh. Probably just won't.
I think that's now six boxes done. Yeah, so I still have two more boxes. So I just looked it up. I looked up what a shiny Duraludon hatched would look like in comparison. Well, the blue certainly is darker, but I think the body is more... The body might be darker too. Hold on, let me see. Once another egg hatches, I'll see comparison. <coughs> Unless the game wants to give me a shiny the next hatch. You know, does any other game have what Pokemon has with shiny hunting? Like spending who knows how many hours doing the same thing until you get, like, if not a different color of the same thing, then like something different entirely. Like a rarer version of it. Does any other game have that? Okay, I'm seeing a comparison. The entire body is fla uh, fl flat out darker when it's shiny. I wish I could see the tip pause, but like, damn thing is just cut off. <sighs> I think my friends stop watching. They're like, this content too boring. <laughs>
Have you still not found it? Nope. That's how shiny hunting is. You think I, you think, you think I guarantee would have gotten it in the last two hours? There's a decent chance I will be done tonight and not have it at all. Are you still doing schoolwork? Are you even still watching? Imagine having me as your background noise to just study with, and you hear absolute silence. You just hear the background music, occasionally cut off by my voice and the sounds of Pokemon hatching. Yes, I am reading the professional handbook and taking notes. Man, I know you're note taking. You are your your notes are gonna be like half the textbook size. There's like over a hundred sections, not including tax legislation. Well, best of luck to you. We're almost at the end anyways, I'm almost out of eggs to hatch. I say almost, I have 40 more, including these current ones. But hey, I started with 245, and I have 40 left to hatch. Yes, egg. Oifs.
Man, I remember during high school, the tail end of high school, when I was doing so bad that my family had to make me do private school in order to get my grades up to pass. There was this Asian teacher who had a THICK accent that I couldn't understand half the time. I don't remember the context of what he was talking about. He said ag and he kept on saying the word ag for so long I couldn't figure out what he was saying until I realized oh he's saying the word egg with his heavy accent. Something about an egg? I don't know what he was talking about. He was saying ag a lot. I couldn't know I couldn't figure out what he was saying. Then I realized he was saying egg.
And I disconnected again. Well, I'm gonna take this opportunity to pee before I try to restart. I'll be right back. All right, we are now into the last box. Final 30, let's see if we can get lucky.
Well, it literally just turned midnight. But I'm still gonna finish. There's uh, 25 more eggs. I can do that.
Come on, I need to get lucky within these last 10. Please, please, 10 left, please. All right, here we go. Final eggs, the last five. I got no more after this. So if there's no shiny here, then we'll have to try this again next time. Hey, welcome back. I am literally down to the last five eggs. So if there's no shiny in these last five, then try again next time. No, I did not get any shinies. Downton Abbey while shiny hunting. I I have no idea who that is. Or is that a show?
best British shows ever. Never heard of it, sorry. Offended. British people rarely have heard of it. Only heard of it because one of the channels that were on TV shows. Uh. I think this is the fourth one, so I I only have one left. Yep, down to that one last egg, and then we're done for tonight. Will it be shiny? <laughs> no, I'm not going to do the one extra for today. And no shiny. Well, there's 245 eggs. No shiny. Damn it. It's okay. Try this again next time. Well, I'm going to end this here. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you next time. Bye now. Get them next time, hopefully. Alright, bye.